Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about dynamic casting. Dynamic casting is used to safely cast a superclass pointer into a subclass pointer in a class hierarchy. Dynamic casting will be checked during runtime. An attempt to cast an object to an incompatible object will result in a runtime error. So dynamic casting is performed during runtime. So the casting of incompatible type will give us a runtime error. So dynamic casting is done using the syntax dollar cast destination comma source. With the dollar cast compatibility of the assignment will not be checked during the compile time. It will be checked during the runtime. We will discuss this more. We will discuss about dollar cast in upcoming slides. Here, we have to be careful in this type of assignments. It is always legal to assign a child class variable to a variable of class higher in inheritance tree, parent class. So here, parent class here, child class can be assigned to a parent class. Parent class can be, parent class handle can be equal to child class handle, child class handle that is parent class can point to child class and it is never legal to directly assign a super class parent class variable to a variable of one of its subclasses child class that is child cl parent class cannot be assigned to child class that is child class cannot point to parent class child class cannot point to parent class whereas parent class can point to child class so these are the two conditions which we have to remember child class cannot be assigned to parent class but child class can be assigned to parent class but parent class cannot be assigned to child class so these are the two conditions however we can it is legal to assign a super class handle to a subclass if superclass handle refers to object of the given subclass. For example, if a child class is assigned to a parent class like this, this is legal. That is parent class is pointing to the child class. And if this child class is equal to parent class because this parent class is already pointing to the child class so this will act so here we can assign like this since the parent class is already pointing to child class we can assign this parent class to the child class but this will throw a compilation error here this is allowed because parent class is pointing to the child class but parent class is pointing to the child child class we will get a compilation error saying it is not compatible type for the assignment so we will get a compilation error like this though it is possible we will get a compilation error so to avoid this error we will use the casting called the the method called dollar cast here within the dollar cast we can use a child class handle and parent class handle and we can overcome the issue. Let us see an example. Here, in this example, we are assigning child class handle to parent class handle. This is legal. A child class handle can be assigned to a parent class handle. Here, we are taking a class called parent underscore class and we have a property called ADDR and we have a method called display. And in this display method, we are displaying the value of address and ending the function and class. And we are taking a child underscore class, which is a base class for this parent class. And here in this child class, we have a property called data and a method called display. And super dot display refers to the parent class display method. We have already discussed about this super keyword and we are displaying the value of data and we are ending the function and class 
and within a module we are declaring the handles for parent class as p and child class as c and we are creating object for this handles p and c p equal to new and c equal to new now we are modifying the values of addr and data with the help of the object handle c so c dot addr equal to 10 and c dot data equal to 20 means c will be having a value of addr as 10 and data will be equal to 20 and here we are assigning child class handle to parent class handle this is legal and we are displaying p dot display and we are calling the method display using the parent class handle so we will get the output like this addr will be equal to 10 and data will be equal to 20 addr is a property of parent class parent class does not have a property called data but as we are assigning p equal to c parent class will also call this child class method so it will print data also so p equal to c assigning child class handle to parent class handle is legal so we will get the output as addr and data in next case we are assigning parent class handle to child class handle this assignment is invalid it leads to a compilation error so it is illegal assignment let's see we are taking a class called parent underscore class and we have a property called addr and we have a method called display and we are displaying the value of addr and we are ending the function in class and we have a child underscore class which, which is extended from parent underscore class so child underscore class is an extended class of parent class and we have a property called data and a method called display and we are displaying the value of data within and ending the function and class and we have a module called inheritance and here we are declaring the handles of parent underscore class and child underscore class and we are creating objects for p and c so p and c are the object handles and we are changing the value of addr and data with the help of child class handle c that is c dot addr equal to 10 and c dot data equal to 20 and we are assigning parent class handle to child class handle that is child is pointing to parent and we are calling the display method using the child class handle here this assignment is illegal assigning child class handle to parent class handle is not legal so it will throw a compilation error like this expression on p on rhs is not a class or compatible class and hence cannot be assigned to class on handle on lhs so please make sure that lhs and rhs expressions are compatible as this assignment is illegal so it will not display anything next assigning parent class handle to child class handle we will see this case assigning parent class handle which is pointing to child class handle to child class handle leads to compilation error let's see this example we have taken a class called parent underscore class and we have a property called addr and we have a method called display and we are displaying the value of addr and we are ending the function in class and we have a class called child and child underscore class which is a extended class of parent underscore class and we have a property called data and we are displaying the data and we are ending the function in class and here we are declaring the handle for p and we are declaring the handle for parent underscore class and child underscore class as p and c respectively and we are creating object for child underscore class and we are declaring other handle for child underscore class as c1 and we are displaying and we are changing the value of addr and data with the child class handle c and we are assigning child class to parent class that is parent is p is pointing to child class handle c this is legal this assignment is legal assignment as child class can be assigned to parent class but here c1 equal to p as this is a child class and this is a parent class this 
type fails during the compilation error like this so no displays so no display statement is displayed so use of dollar cached or cached in in the above example assigning parent class handle which is pointing to a child class handle to child class handling is valid here parent class is pointing to child class so parent since the parent class is pointing to child class it can be assigned to a child class handle but it will throw a compilation error like this so neighbor example assigning parent class handle which is pointing to child class handle to child class handle is valid but compilation error is observed during compile time as a handle p is of parent type which leads to compilation error so with the use of dollar cached type check during compilation can be skipped so let us consider this example we have a class called parent underscore class and we have a property called addr and we are displaying the value of addr and we have a child class which is extend which is extended from parent underscore class and we have a property called data and we are displaying the value of data and within the module inheritance we have we have declared a handle for parent underscore class as p and child underscore class as c and we are creating object for this child class handle c and we have declared other handle for child class as c1 and we are modifying the values of addr and data as 10 and 20 respectively and we are assigning child class to parent that is p is pointing to child class handle c and we are dollar casting c1 and p with the use of dollar cast type check will occur during run time so c1 dot display as we are doing dollar casting the type check will occur during the run time so output will be addr output will be displayed like this addr will be equal to 10 and data will be equal to 20 we are calling the display method using the handle c1 when we are not using dollar casting in this example p equal to c so parent class handle is pointing to child class handle and c1 equal to p as parent class handle is pointing to child class handle so it can be assigned to child class like this this is valid actually this is valid but during the compile time but during the compile time the handle as the handle of p is of parent type which leads to compilation error during the compile time as the handle is of p as the handle of p is parent class which leads to compile time so as this p is of parent class type the type is checked during the compile time so with the help of dollar cache type check during the compile time can be skipped so with when we use dollar cache type checking is skipped type checking is skipped in the compile time as this is valid because but p is a handle of parent class so during compile time it will throw an error but when we use dollar cached instead of c1 equal to p like c1 comma p dollar cached of c1 comma p using this dollar cached will skip the type check so it will not throw an error here we have used the dollar cached like this p equal to c after that dollar cached c1 comma p so with the use of dollar cached type check will occur during only runtime so it will not throw any error so the output will be displayed like this addr will be equal to 10 and data will be equal to 20. so this is all about dynamic casting and dollar cached in system verlog thank you for watching this video